the start of race two for the Morton FIM Superbike World Championship was dry. And Alvaro Bautista got the whole shot from P1 on the grid, closely followed by teammate Nicolo Bulliger, although his second place didn't last long. Andrea Locatelli came bundling his way through at Turn 5 to move into a provisional P2. Remy Gardner was also on the charge, just behind Jonathan Ray. Ray moved ahead of Bulliger. Top rack passed Locatelli to move into the podium places, and he soon forced his way past the Australian Remy Gardner to move into second place, and closed down Alvaro Bautista out in front passing him under braking at the Gert Timmer chicane. Jonathan Ray and Alex Lowes came to blows at Turn 1. Lowes retired from the race. Jonathan Ray continued out in front. The rain was starting to fall and Remy Gardner was determined to get a first World Superbike podium. The conditions seemed to be favouring the Yamaha riders as Locatelli moved into second place. Van der Mark came through on teammate Raz Gatlioglu for fourth and Locatelli moved into the lead as he searched for a first race win. But Bautista wanted the win. He came through on Gardner, came through on Locatelli to take the lead, but behind, Raz Gatlioglu was on the move. He overtook Gardner into turn one. Locatelli running wide, promoting them into second and third, before Raz Gatlioglu's race winning move under brakes at the Gert Timmer chicane to move into P1. Bautista had his eyes on the target ahead. He did close down at times throughout the final two laps, but the times were so close that it was hard for the reigning champion to make a move. The last two champions were fighting two for now for victory, but the number 54 was able to hold on throughout the 21 lap race, despite Bautista's pressure behind. And in third place, a very, very, very happy Remy Gardner with his first podium in World Superbike. BMW and Raz Gatlioglu both had reasons to celebrate. It was their first win at the iconic Dutch circuit. Raz Gatlioglu arriving in Park Fermi in Raz Gatlioglu style. A very happy race to Rostrum. Gardner, Bautista and Raz Gatlioglu all celebrating, as was someone in the crowd who got a free gift from the Turkish star. Little to separate the top three at the end of the 21 lap race. Raz Gatlioglu taking victory ahead of Bautista and Gardner. Ian One fighting his way to fourth. Agata battling from towards the back of the grid to take seventh. Vandermark ninth after a post race penalty demoted him from sixth ahead of Chabu Vieje, who rounded out the top ten. Tara McKenzie took a season's best 11th ahead of Garrett Gerloff. Michael Rubinaldi was 13th with Philip Ertel and Tito Rabat completing the points paying positions. Race one hero Nicholas Spinelli just missed out on points on Sunday. Axel Bassani 18th after an off track excursion, while Alex Lowe's and Scott Redding were your only retirement. In the Riders' Championship, it's all changed. Alvaro Bautista holds a six-point lead over top rack Raz Gatlioglu. Nicolo Bulliger drops to third with Alex Lowe's in fourth. Remy Gardner moves up to eighth following his incredible weekend, culminating in a podium. Petrucci drops one place after missing the weekend. Sam Lowe's up to 11th. Xavi Vieje up to 14th. Jonathan Ray drops to 15th place. Taron McKenzie's P11 helps him move up to the top 20 in the standings. Ika Laguna, Tito Rabat and Bradley Ray round it off. 